Hey everybody, Scott Straub here. In this short little video, I'd like to talk about how I set up my Blackboard course to make students' lives just a little bit easier. For me, I teach at a community college and many of my students are brand new to school and brand new to Blackboard and it can be very daunting. So I've tried to put in a few little systems and a few little techniques to help students. One thing that I've done over the past couple years is at the very top of my assignments folder, that's where all my modules, my assignments are, I put a tool link which takes students directly to my syllabus calendar area where I have my calendar. Now, I don't have my calendar inside my syllabus, although that's certainly a really good practice to do. I just put a note and say, see the, you know, see the calendar that I have. But when students are in the assignments folder, they always can see this. It's right in their face. And when they click on it, it takes them directly to my calendar. Now at the bottom, I often do have a printable version. They can click on a link and get a printable version. But this, the past couple semesters have actually created a table in Blackboard and it's a little bit easier for me to manipulate. Certainly if you use an embed, embedded Word or Excel document, that's great. You put it in your syllabus, that's even better. This is how I've been doing it. But the reason why I'm showing you this is there's a couple little notes that I put at the top. One thing I was told to do a long time ago is mention at on my calendar that it's tentative and that covers me in the event that I make changes to my calendar. Now I certainly don't make substantial changes to my calendar, but certainly things change from time to time. And I want to make sure that I am covered. That's one thing that I do. I also talk about my late work policy where I do not accept late work. I give them some encouragement. But the very last thing that I've done is I put a link to a YouTube video that I've created and it shows students how to navigate my calendar because it may be simple and obvious to us, but students who have two, three, four, five, six classes and that many different systems from instructors, they may not know how your calendar quite works. So I put a little two minute video and I made it generic enough. So I put this in all of my courses so they can understand how my calendar system works. It's just one more little thing to help students, especially the new students or the confused students learn how the system works. Well, I hope this little video helps. Perhaps you can use this tip to make your courses even better. I'm sure they're great already. Thanks everybody.